Computer, activate red alert. Okay, here's Star Trek, red alert. In this video, we're going to have another exciting episode of Anxiety and Me, when I tell you all about how I feel and the stages up to a scary event. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, I'm trying to do two um, personal videos a month now rather than one every week. So please do consider if you have enjoyed this or any of my videos, liking, commenting and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to press that bell button because if you do, then you will get a notification when I go live with a new video. What more could you ask? So what I wanted to talk about in this video is about the various stages I go through um, with my anxiety when I'm coming up to an event. <clears throat> now, just to let you know, this week, well, yeah, a couple of days ago, it was actually graduation. And um, being a lecturer, I go every year to graduation. And I don my um, robe and my hood and my hat and my mortarboard and off I go. Um, so this was me when I f actually um, graduated myself. And this is me just the other day. Yeah. So I wanted to sort of like show you how the anxiety hits me and how it changes. And I think there's about four stages of this. So I'm going to give you a sneaky peek to my inside turmoil, which is happening. And I don't normally share this with anyone because I try to, well, I try to deal with it myself because if I talk about it, then I feel very um, inept very pathetic because looking back on it it seems pathetic but I just like to say it's very real at the time and I wanted to capture it now quickly when it was still um, fresh in my mind. Okay then let's get down to it. <clears throat> let's start at stage one. Now stage one is a really really important stage because it's at this stage that I actually decide whether or not I'm going to put myself under a lot of stress and trauma for a period of time. And stage one is when I'm actually asked to do something or somebody says I have to do something or it becomes apparent that there's going to be a visit or I'm going to have to travel somewhere. And at that point, stage one is when everything in my head is saying don't do it don't do it don't do it and it's actually sort of like thinking um if you say no now you're actually saving yourself a whole load of issues and and sleepless nights and awful thoughts etc etc now to give you an example um normally when i say yes um, the event is a long way away. It might be the next six months. It could be a few weeks ago. And at that point, when I get asked to do something, I summon the courage and so I go, yes. And I try to accept and then uh, straight away. Um, some things I still cannot accept to do and there's just too much anxiety builds up instantly in a moment and I just sort of like chicken out. And yes, yes, I do chicken out. I totally and utterly admit it. But at that time, everything is still very, very real and I'm worried and I'm anxious and my heartbeat goes up and I start to sweat, etc, etc. Now, stage two only happens if I've agreed to do something and stage two sort of like lasts over a period of weeks days months or whatever and it's almost like the lead up to the event and then what happens is that if I'm it normally happens sort of like when I first wake up or when I'm first going to, when I'm trying to get to sleep or when I'm 
um, feeling down about things or I'm lacking self-confidence or low self-esteem. And all of a sudden in the corner of mine, it sort of goes bloop. And it's sort of like that event uh, makes uh, an appearance. And at that point, I start to hypothetically go through all the negatives that is going to happen. And one of the things I did for my clinical psychologist was that I tried to convert that to positives, but sometimes it takes a lot. It really does take a lot. And I, I curse myself during this time and say, why did you ever say yes to it? And my brain starts to come up with reasons to get out of it. And I really have to fight through that time. And normally if I'm busy, I don't think about it. Oh, it's when I suddenly think, oh, what a lovely time I've got ahead coming. And then all of a sudden, it just sort of like comes up and then that's it. And so stage two is when it's appearing now and again. And every time it comes up, I get anxious, my heart increases, I get panicky and I try to suppress it and, you know, knock it down. And eventually it comes to the night before the event and this is stage three and my brain has a really strange way of trying to deal with it my brain sort of like says to me in stage three that it's often the night before and it's almost as if because it's the night before if i stay awake it's not going to happen it's almost as if i don't want to leave the day before i don't want to go to sleep because i know that when i wake up the event's going to be very real and up to that point it's well still up to that point it seems as if it might not happen and the the night before i try and get everything ready you know do everything you know if i've got to get my if i'm going to graduation i iron my shirt I have my trousers, shine my shoes and everything like that. But in the back of my head, it's there's this, this voice and I don't hear voices, but it's almost like my mind saying, I wonder whether or not it'd be canceled. Um, have I got everything I need? And I just don't want to go to sleep. And it's so difficult and I'm very tired and I can sleep. It's just that I don't want to leave the day because I know as soon as I leave the day, it's going to be real. It's going to be there. And then we come to um, stage four. And stage four is the morning of whatever's going to happen. And this is so unbelievably difficult. Uh, so I wake up. And the first thing I think is, oh, that was a nice sleep. And then all of a sudden, it's not so like, bloop. It's all like, pow. And it's just all like, goes, oh my goody, I've got to do this. I've got to do it. It's a day. It's a day. What's going to happen? And immediately, immediately, this, my brain goes into overdrive and it's firing at me excuse after excuse after excuse to try to it's almost as if my anxiety is trying to make me give in and that's the best way i can describe it i'm hyper tense uh my heart rate is up i'm sweating my stomach hurts um i i feel sick and i just sort of like have to push myself through it and through it and oh do you know it's so difficult and when when I was going to graduation, there was, I had so many excuses why I couldn't go. And I, I even sort of like think, oh, nobody will mind, nobody will mind. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I can feign this illness or feign that illness. And it, it sounds awful. It really does sound awful. But at that point, I, I'm fighting to keep in control. I really am fighting. And I'm sort of like, there's a bit of me that's in the background, sort of like saying, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And yet there's, it's a bit like, and this is the only way I can describe it. There's hundreds of people around and they're all shouting at you not to do something. 
and to give up on it and to go away and you'll be safer here and you'll be safer there and there's this one tiny little voice right the way at the back of the crowd going you can do it you can do it and it's just like everybody else is drowning it out and I, I'm trying to focus on that small voice I it, it's very difficult at that point very difficult and then I have to leave the house and this is I forget we, I think I'm at stage four it, it gets me worried just thinking about it and reenacting it and I eventually managed to leave the house and set off and I think that's going somewhere or all of a sudden it's real and that's an um, it's an awful feeling and I just sort of like think I can't back out now and well I can back out and I think that's a really difficult thing because my brain is saying all those thousands of voices saying hey, you you don't have to do that come back do that and then I get um what I call um Oh, one thing yeah I should have mentioned this when when I'm leading up to it I get what's known I call panic dreams that I st really start to live the event in my head and then but I'm dreaming and then I wake up and I hate those I hate panic nightmares as I call them I actually wake up in a state of panic not being able to breathe and things like that it's awful anyway as I'm driving to the event or I'm going to the event my anxiety takes a different track and it's almost as if it knows that it's going to lose and it starts to make rational things pop into my head so things like i think you've forgotten something i think you need to go back you haven't done this i think you desperately need the toilet i think you need to do this and i almost like forget that it is the anxiety still it's almost as if it's pretending to be rational and that's the hardest thing to sort of like give in to anyway um stage five is when i'm actually at the event and one of the things i hate about graduation and there's loads of things that i do like about it is that my anxiety as i've said before is all to do with control and I've learned that over several years and the more I'm in control the better I feel the more relaxed I feel so when I have my routines I'm in control of those routines I'm I'm you know I'm steering the way I can do what I want and I feel incredibly relaxed it's unbelievable how nice I feel when I have a routine as soon as things that routine changes and there is I'm no longer in control then that's what causes my anxiety and one of the things about going to graduation is that I have to sit on a stage and it's like tiered seating and I'm sat there and I I, I always want to go first down as we process which means I'm actually in the middle of the row and I'm never too sure whether or not that is a good thing or a bad thing but I tend to put myself in that position and then uh, then it's a matter of staying in control staying in the seat and I take things sweets to suck I try to take my mind off things I try to look up look around I try to smile chat to the person next to me and honestly every now and again I'm trying to keep in control of my body and mind and every now and again it starts to slip away and I almost like think I'm going to have a coffee but what I can't get out what, what what am I going to do what all these people are looking at me and I have to quickly suppress that as quickly as I possibly can because I know that if I dwell on it it would just go and that would be it that later and I'm constantly trying to suppress it and it's almost as if something is bubbling up and I'm keep trying to push it back down and that's how I feel for and I I, I enjoy well I don't enjoy, I, I like being at graduation I think it's something really important for me to bear 
but I can safely say I am so relieved when, when it's over and done with. And it's interesting, after I've succeeded in conquering a task, I, oh, I'm elated. I'm so pleased with myself, but I also get emotional. So I so I like feel that I'm going to cry or something like that because I feel that I've pushed through that boundary. And it's really, really, um, I have to sort of like smile to myself. And um, I actually went to two graduation and pe people don't realize what I'm actually going through. And I must say, this is the first time I've ever even spoken about it. I've tried to explain it to other people, um, but I, I think that I, I'm sure they think I'm some kind of weirdo most of the time. But And it, it's really difficult talking about it myself because it's I'm almost like admitting to myself that it actually exists. And I think this is an important and this is why I do these videos to help me. But in doing so, hopefully help you if you're watching this. And I get very happy afterwards. And at this graduation, I had to do two services. And so I literally put myself through it all over again. I put myself through it twice, which was unbelievable. But it's still such a strain on your body. And I come out of it very hungry, very tired, because I feel I've used up all that energy, um, you know. And it's just so sometimes I just have to go out and eat um, because I just need food or I need to have a sleep or something like that, because I've used up so much energy trying to keep in control. And somebody uh, was asking me, they said, does it get better every year when you go to graduation? And it's interesting that it doesn't because they're not, they're not close enough together. I have a whole year in between. And it, it's really difficult because I know that I have to say yes. And I know that I have to. Now, one thing outside, I'm flitting, I know. But one thing I have to say at this point is that when I was really bad with my anxiety, and I mean super bad, not being able to leave the house bad, somebody made me do something. And I am sure to this day that it put me back tens of years in recovery because I wasn't prepared to do it. I had no strategy and they thought if they made me do it, it would be better. And do you know, I still remember that day and it was sheer awful. It, 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 even thinking about it, you know, I can feel my stomach clenching for it. Anyway, I don't want to waffle on too much. I hate to think how long I've waffled on already. But yeah, um, those are my stages, five or six stages. And yeah, my life. So now my brain is thinking, so what's the next thing? You know, and sometimes I honestly, sometimes I just wish that I said no at stage one. Um, because life would be so much easier. But maybe it won't be as good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you um, as much as it helped me reflecting on it. And I'd just like to say to each and every one of you before I go, please remember to be who you are and say what you think because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun. And if you would like me to talk about anything, then put them in the comments below. I'm happy to share as you well know. Till next time, look after yourself and I'll see you all later. Bye.